Radio Televisieren. This is RTE1. We were dancing. You got a problem with that? In case you've forgotten, she is engaged. Oh, so you think I'm trying to hit on her? Hi. Hey. Bro, who's that? Soler, he's all over her. So he's a guy. What do you care? He's hitting on Thomas' girl. Vinny, what are you doing here? I'm looking for Shannon. Good luck. I saw you at uni, Shannon. He was all over you. Look, Shannon, I don't know how far you've gone, but don't do it. If Tama means anything, you stop now. So that's what you think of me. And I'm cheating on Tama. Well, tell me different. I'm not gonna tell you anything. But Shannon, it's not worth it. This guy's probably hitting on half the girls in his classes. Oh, so I'm nothing special, right? Tama loves you, okay? You guys are getting married, doesn't that mean anything? You're the one who's telling the story, yeah? He deserves better, Shannon. Yeah, so do I, now let me go. You're making a big mistake! What have we got? Oh, this is Beryl, she was hit by delivery van in the car park. Her vitals are all good, but she's been complaining about pelvic pain. Where's Mincy? Is she all right? Let's just worry about you right now, eh? Straight through to ED. Do we, um, we know her? Yeah, she's a regular. OK, maybe uh, check her records, get some family to come and get the dog then. Oh, I don't think there is any. No, there isn't. It's just Mincy. She talks about it all the time. Ah, because the van hit the dog as well. Oh. Is it OK? I didn't have time to find out, Barb. Um, wave if you can... Yeah, I'll call a vet. Cheers. Can you grab the phones? Oh, right, yeah. Hi, I'm here for a uh, pickup. Uh, can you just give us a minute? Sure. Short My guy's in the hurry. Pharmacy? Yeah, Back again? Yeah, I had fun last time. I'm working. Me too, just waiting for the paperwork with Mr. Wade. You'll do a good job? One of yours? Not really. I was thinking for the family's sake. We'll do what we can. This poor wife can't take it in. They've been married 43 years. Long time. Hmm. Wouldn't be surprised if she died in the next few months. She's ill? I don't think so, but these couples spend such long lives together. When one goes, sometimes the other's not far behind. Without their partner, there's nothing left to live for. Here he is. <laughs> How are you, darling? You're looking very flesh. Have you been shopping? Yeah, his old stuff was looking pretty shabby. Uh, and too small, you know, he's going through a growth spurt. Getting to be a big boy, aren't you? Oh, I'd better feed you up then. <laughs> yeah, no pumpkin. He's off it at the moment. Um, i got a dash. I'm doing a meeting. Say bye to Daddy. Bye, Daddy. Bye-bye, sweetie. <laughs> I'll pick him up first thing in the morning. Oh, it's OK. I've taken the day off. So well, I I, I've finally organised care for him, if I'd have known. So you're saying I can't keep him? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Wanna... Uh, yeah, John, I'm just dropping Harry off. I, I won't be a moment. Uh, I'll see you in the morning. Now, you be good for Mummy, OK? Bye-bye. Bye, Daddy. -bye. Mm. Uh, yeah, I'll show you more than ten minutes. No, I don't have the figures yet. Oh, it is so good to see you. I have missed you so much. <laughs> Daddy. Oh, it's OK, darling. Let me see you. Hey you. Hi. Why are you here? Oh, collecting Mr. Wade. Ah, oh, I thought you might have been looking for your girlfriend. We did cross paths. So, did she throw herself at you or did she manage to control herself? <laughs> Definitely the latter. But she's losing the battle, like in the calf. Hot stuff. It was just a little peck. It was a major breakthrough. Most guys would have given up a long time ago. I've been close. But some people push them too hard, they bolt. Just gotta let them set their own pace. You know, fall slowly. Yeah, well, don't worry. Your ice queen is definitely melting. You've had rather a nasty bump to your hip, and unfortunately there is a fracture on your pelvis, so it looks like you'll be with us for a little bit longer. But, Mitzi, I keep asking, but no one can tell me. Mitzi's Bill's dog. She got caught up in her lead, but when I got out the door, she freed herself and took off. I went after her, and the next thing I'm on the ground. Oh, can you please find out? Of course, of course, we are. 
Uh, orthopedics are making up a bed for Miss Anderson now. We can transfer when you're ready. Uh, excellent. Um, Beryl is rather concerned about her dog. Oh, she frets when we're separated. Oh, if someone can see if she's all right. Well, just get you settled in the ward and then I'll come up and give you all the news about Lexi. Oh, my neighbour might mind her. He's very fond of Mitzi. Oh, she's such a good girl. Did you miss your husband? Beg your pardon? Did you find it hard to carry on? I mean, was loving him worth the pain? I hardly think my private life's your concern, Lee, man. It's not just you. It's everyone. Everyone falls in love, but why? Why let yourself and it always leads to loss? Orthopedics ward in one hour. It may not answer your question, but you might learn something. So did you set him straight? No, not really. So he still thinks you're having a fling with your tutor? Like I care what Vinnie Crusay thinks. Yeah, true. Hey, are you going to be okay? Tomorrow? No, you remembered. <laughs> yeah, finally. Well, it was really good to talk to Reese, but and all I want right now is just tell her. Well, you can call him. And I'm here. Speak out. Set us free. Thanks. Oh, you are not going to this rally. Country girl like you, will you be into animals? I'm not into rat boy exploiting them to make himself big man on campus. Yeah. Okay, so it's cool to make porn films that exploit women, but try protecting lab animals and you're just attention seeking. I'm heading to the library. Are you coming? No, I've got to head back to the cafe and check on Janie. Is she no good? Oh, she's just better when the boss is around. That's no good when you're trying to study. Oh, I still think I'm lucky to have the chance. See ya. Speak out! Set us free! Set us free! Set us free! Sully. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get a quote this afternoon. Bro, it's not about the roof, it's about Shannon. What? I think she's missing her own on Tumble. Oh, you're not still obsessing about that, are you? I, I got proof. Oh, come on then, lay it on me. Caught. Cozying up to that guy she claims is her tutor. Well, maybe he is her tutor. No, 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 caught. As in getting flowers from the same dude. And she didn't even try to deny it either. I got this, dude. I got it. Oh! Oh! oh, oh, oh what's that? Hey, um, when you say she didn't deny it, you didn't have a go to, did you? Damn straight. Oh, funny, you idiot. What? I don't know anything about the tutor guy, but I know where the flowers are from. You're going to have to apologise to her. Oh, give me one good reason, then. The flowers are from Tama? He couldn't be here, so I sent them to show that he's thinking about her. It's a year tomorrow since their baby died. <laughs> 